OK, welcome to the press conference for Nick Kyrgios. Remember to raise your hand, state your name and organisation when uh, asking your question. We'll start. Uh, Nick, just give us your thoughts on the match. Um, roller coaster. Um, thought I played. Thought the level was pretty good, um, you know, barring everything that happened. Um, I'm really happy to just be second week of a slam again here for the fourth time, I think. So just super happy to... <clears throat> I think the hard work and just the way I've been playing on the grass is, is paying off. Hi Nick, uh, it's Chris Johnson from Grand Slam Magazine. Uh, Stefano Tsitsipas was just in here and I'm going to quote to you what he said. He yeah. said that it's constant bullying. He was probably a bully at school. I don't like bullies. He has a very evil side to him. That's what he said. I don't know what to say. I'm not sure how I bullied him. I, I was He was the one hitting balls at me. He was the one that hit a spectator. He was the one that smacked it out of the stadium. I didn't do anything. I was actually like, apart from me just going back and forth to the umpire for a bit, I did nothing towards Stefanos today that was disrespectful, I don't think. I was not drilling him with balls. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to say. But, like, what do you think? I mean, he went as far as saying that he thinks that some of the players should get together and you know, talk about you or talk to you and try to deal with what you're bringing onto the court and how well, it I'll be pretty upset if I lost attempts. to someone two weeks in a row as well. Look, maybe he should figure out how to beat me a couple more times first and then get to that. Matt Futterman from the New York Times. Is it when you're going back and forth with the umpire and you see Stefanos is, or any opponent is getting upset? Is it at all? Is it at all tactical um, that you sort of, or, or are you just trying to say your piece and keep, it, it keeps coming? Is it emotional or tactical? I guess well, is I just, the question. When I played Philip Kranovich, he didn't hit a ball at a spectator. He didn't hit a spectator, so I didn't really have much to talk about. I was just wondering why he was still on the court because I know that if the roles had been reversed, I would have been pulled off that court and defaulted, for sure. So I was just wondering what was going on. Darren? Hi Nick, Darren from AAP. Uh, sorry to digress from Stefanos, but um, special day for Australians at Wimbledon today, first time yeah. since 99. Great question. We've had four, four Aussies in the last 16. Um, can you just talk about that and also right. special effort from Jason Kubler in particular? Yeah. Um, I'm obviously not surprised with Demoner. You know, he's been flying that flag for a while now and super solid player and I'm not surprised seeing him in the second week. Koob's obviously, I hit with him on the indoor court about a week ago it was in, and I thought his level was, was really good. He obviously beat one of my best mates um, today. Um, and, yeah, I mean, Koob's is capable of, of doing anything. You make it this far in the draw, you got, you know, you're feeling good, you're seeing the ball pretty big. So I'm super proud with, with you know, Aussies, you know, being this far still capable of doing some damage at Wimbledon, it's good to see. And you could potentially play Alex in the um, quarterfinals, that'd be pretty cool too. Yeah, of course. Uh, you know, we've got both got a tough match ahead. Um, I mean, he's got Garin and I've got Nakashima, and Nakashima won easily today on straight sets, and to do that at Wimbledon on grass is not easy, so he's obviously playing well, so I'm not going to look past that. Hi Nick, Ellen Crooks from Press Association. Generally players don't get defaulted for hitting the ball into the crowd. Do you think that should change? Um, so you don't think that hitting a spectator in the head with a ball warrants a default? No, I'm just saying, but I can't... No, but, but, I today, but today, do you not think that warrants well, a I default? Well, I don't think it did actually hit a spectator. Yeah, it rebounded off the ball and hit the spectator. Yeah, it did. I've seen the video. <laughs> OK, well, um, but I, I can't remember anybody being defaulted for hitting a ball into the crowd. I don't know if you Djokovic? Can. No, but he hit a line jump. What, 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 so what? So I can just smack balls into the spectator and hit spectators and not get defaulted, is what you're saying? Well, what I'm saying is, should that be an automatic default? Well, what do you think? <clears throat> um, so you think I could just peg balls into the crowd and not get defaulted? No, what I'm saying is that Well, you just answered your own question. You obviously don't agree with the rule. You think they should get defaulted then? Uh, so if I yeah, just like, I do, actually, yes. Well, there so you go. If you hit we did a ball it. recklessly into the yeah, crowd... Yeah, we did it. ...you should get defaulted. So, that's great. But so that, why was he still on the court? But what I'm saying is generally players don't get defaulted. Well, genuinely. So that generally means, OK, that doesn't mean it can't still happen, though. Do you not think it was warranted today? He picked up the ball and smacked it into the crowd. It hit someone in the head off the wall. Yeah, I think, yeah, absolutely. There you go. Yeah. 
Next question. We did it. Catherine? Hi, Nick. Catherine Risker, Tennis Podcast. Obviously, you both received uh, code violations throughout the match today. Uh, Stefanos for the, the hitting the ball into We the just crowd. really need to stop putting me, us on the same level of behaviour today. Well, of what happened, that's please. Kind of the question. He apologised. He apologised for, for that. He was pretty profuse about it in his press conference. Does that make it okay? Because well, I've, I've, I've sure have apologised and I've been hit with massive fines. That you would feel the need to apologise for? What did I do, though? What, what did I do? Verbal abuse? Yeah, and I'll get fined for that. Why but would I need to apologise? I'm getting fined for it. Because okay. I got... I always get fined. So I'm very keen to see what he will get after today. Ben? Ben Curious, do you think you can, you're playing very well despite all this Thanks, chaos. Thanks, Ben. Thank you. But do you, but do, you, do you think that you can win this tournament? And if, and if so, are you at all worried that all of the circus where Steph used, like, could be tiring at all for you in these matches? I feel great. I don't know what he's talking, like, the circus was all him today. I actually felt great. Like, I feel great physically now. Um, I'm ready to go again if I need to play again tomorrow. I just think he's making that match about me. Like, he's got some serious issues. Like, serious. I'm good in the locker room. I've got, I got many friends, like, just to let you know. I'm actually one of the most liked. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm set. He's not liked. Let's just put that there. Um, so, anyway. Um, no, I'm good. I feel good. You win the tournament? Yeah, I feel good. Like, as I said, round by round, if I keep doing the right things, I feel good. But I'm, I'm all right. James? You were pretty effusive about Stefanos and Petros afterwards. Yeah. Um, the last 15, 20 minutes feel like that might not be the case anymore. I mean, do you think you'll both brush this off and be friends again in two days' time? I don't care. Um, as I said, when I'm back home and I... And and you see my every day and who I'm competing with on the basketball court. Like, these guys are dogs. Like, the people that I'm playing at Wimbledon, they don't, they're not, like, he's that soft. Like, to come in here and, and say I bullied him and stuff, that's just soft. Like, that's just, we're not cut from the same cloth. Like, I go up against guys who, like, are true competitors. Like, if he's affected by that today, then that's what's holding him back. Because someone can just do that and that's going to throw him off his game like that. He's got to, like, I just think it's soft. Really? Nick, you're wearing a shirt with Dennis Rodman's name and picture. In what ways do you see similarities between yourself and Rodman, and in what ways might you like to follow his example? Honestly, it's just clean washing. Um, <laughs> like, I didn't, I saw the shirt today in my house, I was like, yeah, it's, that'll, that'll work. Um, but we watched The Last Dance this morning as well on the, um, on the TV. I mean, I just, NBA's a great example. Like, these guys are competitors. Like, a little bit of trash talk here or there. And I wasn't even trash talking him. Like, and he's going to say that I bullied him. I didn't do anything. Like, it's just crazy. I'm not, I wasn't trying to be like anyone. I was just out going out there today competing. Third on Wimbledon. And I did it. It was successful. Everything I did worked. It was like, I'm not going out there to be his friend. Like, oh, Tsitsi Bass, like, do you want me to give him, like, a lot of respect and say, beautiful shot, Stefanos. Like, no, it's not, that's, not gonna, that's not what I'm going to give to him. Like, I'm just going to be myself. I'm not trying to be Dennis Rodman. I'm trying to be myself. Uh, first of all, it was a great match. Thank I you. enjoyed it a lot. Congratulations. Second, uh, do you think that all the critics you get, are, you don't deserve them ever? I mean, apart from today, in general, do you think that uh, everybody's against you or you're a victim of the media and other stuff? And uh, last uh, thing, Today there was one moment when he missed an inc uh, a, a easy shot, mm -hmm. very, and you say, good shot! I mean, yep. that is not that nice, so you must admit it. Am if I trying to be nice? If someone would have done it to you, you wouldn't have liked. And I, I most likely wouldn't have come in here and said I got bullied. Well, I said no shot. Well, well now it's getting out of hand, like, mm -hmm. well, first of all, I'll answer your first question. Um, you asked me, what did you ask me? My critics and stuff? Yeah, if, you think, if you think that everyone is against No, I don't really care. Um, they have to watch me play for fourth round of Wimbledon. Um, got a pretty nice paycheck this week as well. So I don't really care about what they think and what they're going to comment on my Instagram or anything like that. Um, as for that, I just go about my stuff. I'll, I'll be confident. I'm going to prepare and keep playing the way I know how to play. Um, and it wasn't an easy shot. I hit a good serve 
and I saw him working on his back end return yesterday and he hit the back fence, so I said good shot. Okay. It's John here from Game to Love Podcast. You highlighted what you think has been holding Stefanos back yeah. from winning a major. Oh, I didn't say that. You put that in. I didn't say winning a major. You well, just I decided to put that today. on yourself. What's been holding you back, would you say? Um, well, I think I just don't like travel, and tennis is a tough one. When you're from Australia, you have to travel eight months of the year to play a full schedule, and that's not something I'm willing to do. So that's first first things first. I don't like to travel that much. Um, obviously, I haven't been able to play a consistent level of tennis. You know, I'm very accountable. Um, I haven't been able to produce my best tennis in consistent number of times in the year, and that's that simple. Um, I've produced some fair consistent tennis against Stefanos, though. This um, year has been probably your best year, would you say, consistency-wise? Um, not really. Um, I was once 13 in the world, um, but I just don't play enough, I think, at the moment to really be a, an established top 10 player. Like, I would have to be going deep every week. Um, so... As I said, like, I don't even look at rankings. You know, to, I felt like the favourite today. And as Ben does this, I know he did too. Hi, Nick. Yasmin from The Express. Obviously, you've had all of Stefanos' words put to you now and you've responded, but do you wish that he came up to you in the locker room man-to-man -to, -man to do it instead? He's never doing that. Um... I just don't understand what I, what I did. I don't know what I did today. To, 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 to start there, I actually don't know what I... Like, I did nothing towards him. I didn't think I was aggressive towards him. I wasn't hitting balls at his face. Um, as I, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know what the big... I don't even know it was... It wasn't... I didn't feel like there was any anger. I had no anger towards Steph today on the match. So I don't know what, where it's coming from. To be honest, like I think he was angry because when he hit the ball out of the stadium, it was directed at his box. So obviously they had some friction, and then obviously when you start losing, and then losing to me again, things get you get angry. Like, and I can officially say I've never given a handshake like that in my life. Every time I've lost, when I got default against Casper Ruud, I look people in the eye and I say, "Well done today, you were the better man." And he's not a man enough. He wasn't man enough to do that today. Um, so if he's not going to come up to me in the locker and say anything. Do you think you'll try and do that to him, or is it his problem to come to you if he does have a problem? What, what, what was that, sorry? Would you go up to him now and confront him about the bully comment, or do you think it's for him to come no, to you if he I, has an issue? I, 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 I'm not going to confront anyone about anything. I, that's not bullying. Like, I've been, like, that's not bullying. Anyway, um, but, yeah, I, I hope that he, I don't know, I don't know why he's so hurt. Thank you very much.